Chef Pennington here. Today is Shoulders Day. We're going to talk about how to not hurt yourself. The shoulders is the one area that you can really hurt yourself. And there's a few things you can do to really help yourself not hurt yourself. And I really believe stretching is really one of them. We're going to target all three areas of the shoulder. And we're going to use the very best exercise for that promise. I've personally gotten, my shoulders have gotten a lot stronger over the last like six months because I've been working on them really hard. And I've been doing these exercises the way that we're going to talk about them. And it really works, I promise. But stretching is something that I've always done, but not the way I'm doing it now. And I feel like since I've started stretching, like you're seeing here, I have been getting more gains. Plus, shoulders can get hurt very easily. When you're doing these extra, these stretching exercises, don't do like five, six, or count even like what you're doing. Actually feel the shoulder and think about it. And move it wherever it feels like it needs to go. In so other words, do a good long warm up. But if you feel like you're moving one way and the shoulder's feeling kind of weird, by the time you're, you're done with your warm up, you'll be like, oh, I don't feel that anymore. And that could have been an injury while you're in a set because you didn't get that little kink out of your shoulder before you started. I can't stress to you how important that is. And your shoulders is something that you really don't want to hurt. But everything from like a, a tricep extension to doing dumbbells or chest press, you know, shoulder day, I'm sorry, chest day, they all incorporate your shoulders. So working on your shoulder, having a day for shoulders is really important to your overall health. And I think people kind of forget about shoulders because they're fairly weak on most people. Mine used to be really weak and now they're, I really, I've made some really good, great gains. I'm using heavy weights, but I didn't start out there. And that's really what's important. So what I'm doing here is I'm telling you what I've done and how I got to having what I think are strong shoulders. But the stretching guys, so important. So front lateral raises. This is a really common shoulder exercise. You want to start out with low weight. Even if you're a guy and you feel you're really strong, you still start out low. Like I warm up with 15 pounds here, go with 10. If you need to do with five, whatever it takes. The idea is that you need to let the muscle get used to working in that fashion, all right? I'm using 25 pounds, which for this exercise is pretty heavy. But like I said, it's taking a long time to get there. So when I'm doing this, I'm thinking about trying to keep my head still. You're moving heavy weights like this. When you're leaving 25 pounds of your head, that is considered a heavy weight. Keep your head really still if you can, which is impossible, right? It's gonna move a little bit, but that's what you're thinking about. And like keeping your back straight. And make sure you lower the weights. Don't just drop them down. That's a horrible thing to do. You got the weight up there? Don't just drop it. Go down slow like that right there. That's gonna give you more gains as in muscle growth and more micro tears to your muscles, which is what you that's what you want. That's what you're doing when you're lifting weights. So here we go guys. This is a really good one that you really want to make sure that you, when you lift the weights up like that, you want to control the weight. Like just getting it off the ground and getting into position, you can tweak your shoulder. So make sure that you're not using too much weight. And if you're not sure, use a light weight just to see where you're at. And then you'll be like, oh, well that went well. Then add five pounds. Be like, oh, that went well. Then you start knowing where your range is. And just don't be in a hurry just to up the weights. You know, whenever you get comfortable with your weight, before you just jump up, I suggest that you do more reps or let your set go longer, which is where you're really gonna get the benefit. If your sets are lasting 20 seconds, you're not getting the max out of it. it. Just means you're getting the failure too fast, which is okay. You might go lower weights, or here's another thing you can do, supersets. So do your exercise in 20 seconds, 30 seconds, you're tired. Then grab another weight or do a different version of that muscle. Which is cool. It's something you can do. It just allows you to get over that, that 20 to 30 seconds to get it closer to a minute. And when the, right here, when I get to the top of this, I'm trying to hold it for like a, like a good second or two. And it's hard. That's, that's 35 pounds. Like getting up there in that little second is, it's really challenging. My body's actually a little bit convulsing right there. So this is cool. This is kind of that superset idea. I just got done with that set. I got up. I grabbed a couple, 10 or 12 pounds, I don't know what it was, and just sit there and hold it. And it's, it might sound maybe different for some people, but I promise you this is where you're really letting your, your muscles get strong because you're already tired and you're still pulling what you have in the tank. And that's what it's going to take to get stronger. You can't take the country club route in the gym. You know, working out is where you are working hard. You're not there. I mean, if you're there to exercise, that's cool, but working out is not, not particularly exercise. Working out is hard, you know. If it feels easy, then you're not doing something right. So a little exercise like this at the end of a set when you're tired 
is gonna it's gonna get you that next level. You're gonna get stronger from it. And I promise you guys, you want to do a finisher. We start out with stretching, which is great, and do that every time, please. But having a finisher like this, this is not heavy weight right here. This cable, I don't even know what it was on, but it wasn't wasn't heavy. It was just so that I'm able to let the muscles use a little bit lighter weight to go through a higher repetition. This is not like five or six reps. This is more like 20 per side. Something like that, you know. It'll make the world a difference, y'all, promise. Come and join us on social media. We'd love to have you guys there. We're doing food, health, and fitness, all that good stuff, mostly food. Come and subscribe. We'd love to have you guys. And absolutely thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have the best.